What is going on guys, it's Argon657 here. Today I bring in another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Wi-Fi battle. Now this one's actually going to be uh, three Wi-Fi battles. All three are going to be against uh, Visual Eye. So yeah, his channel start is going to be in the uh, description below. So anyways, this first battle is a PU battle. And uh, yeah, so this battle is going to be really fast because it's basically mostly, uh, you know, um, I don't know, like back and forth the same moves pretty much. like or some stall situations, but uh, yeah, so he leads off with his soul rock, I lead off with my Mesper, we're both gonna set a rock, I'm gonna go for the U-10, I'm gonna go to my Skunk Tank, not sure what he wants to do, um, but he's gonna go for Rock Slide, so Rock Slide's actually gonna do a considerable amount to my Skunk Tank, I'm not running any defense investment, but um, I thought he would want to switch out over here, but uh, apparently he doesn't switch out, he goes for the Willow, so that kind of sucks. My Skunk Tank was actually the only thing that I had to uh, deal with this Soul Rock, because this Soul Rock's actually a pain in the ass to deal with. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so he's gonna um, go for the Morning Sun. I'm gonna go for the Defog. Now, what I should have done was gone for the Crunch, to be honest. I think I would have been able to, you know, maybe put him in range where I can just knock him out with any one single hit. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to my Toga tomorrow. And he's gonna go for his stealth rocks, so he loses nothing going for rocks, and he can just go in to something that can take on a hit um, from my um, Toga tomorrow. But he's gonna go to his lantern. I do see that coming. I know he's gonna switch into lantern, and I'm gonna go back to my stun tank. Now the thing is that um, my stun tank is getting worn down pretty easily, so that kind of sucks. So I have that he's probably gonna be able to get his rocks back up. Uh, Sooner or later, um, as you can see, he's gonna go keep on going into a soul rock. And uh, yeah, basically, looking at my team, like I don't really match up too well against his team. Like his team is probably uh, better designed. Like uh, this team, I think it kind of just like grew together. Uh, but he's gonna go for his stealth rocks over here, and uh, he's gonna withdraw. He's gonna go to his Soul Valley which is a uh, Soul Valley Dragon. Now, I go for the U-turn uh, again, because I thought he would want to go into his, um, what was it, the um, Lantern again. So I'm going to go to my Skunk Tank, and the thing is that now my Skunk Tank is so low, that there's really no point in keeping it alive anymore. So my Skunk Tank is going to be Death Water, and now the rocks are here to stay. So now I might as well get my rocks back up again. So um, I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks over here. He's going to go for Draco Meteor. And, um, I actually didn't realize at the time that he was Soul Valley Dragon. Um, I thought he was, like, Soul Valley Water for some reason, but, uh, yeah. Turns out to be Soul Valley Dragon. So he's gonna go for the Draco and he's gonna finish off my Mesper, which kinda sucks. At least I'm able to get up my Stealth Rocks. But he's gonna knock out two of my mods, so... Uh, I'm gonna go to my Archeops over here, and, uh, at this point, like, I don't have a real good answer to the Soul Rock other than my Togemaru, but he... With the Soul Rock and the Lantern Core, it's gonna be really hard to deal with my, um, my, uh, with the, um, Soul Rock. So, I'm gonna go to my Girder, expecting him to want to go for the will o -Wisp. but, um, he goes for the Morning Sun, and, uh, that's very unfortunate, though, because now he's gonna be able to, uh, go really into Shenotic, and I'm gonna go for a Bulk Up over here, and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go for the um, Ice Punch over here because uh, I want to see what how much damage it will do. It's gonna do a considerable amount, but unfortunately he doesn't get the freeze. I don't get the freeze, and he's gonna be able to score me, so that kind of sucks. So um, yeah, Shenotic is basically his best answer to my girder, unless uh, he would have like you know, burned my uh, unless. Uh, Unless he would have burned my uh, Gerda with the will wisp right there, but, um, yeah. Now, what I could have done was also, um, you know, maybe gone into my Gerda expecting the, um, um, what was that, the, um, will wisp But, uh, the thing is that I think he went for the strength stab over there, so he's gonna go for the, uh, Moonblast, and I'm gonna go for the Moon Punkins. Lantern is very obvious, he's gonna switch in. Um, but I'm actually gonna go for the Toxic Critic and him to switch out, so, um, so yeah, I'm gonna hit him up with the Toxic, so, the thing is, he may carry the Heal Bell, so it's not gonna hurt him too much, so, I can pretty much Toxic him all I want, but he's just gonna Heal Bell, 
uh, the status away, so as you can see, he is going to go for the Gear Bell, so uh, that kind of sucks though, because now this Lance is going to be much more difficult to deal with. Now the thing is, Mike Gritter can actually just set up all over his team, if he had just gotten the burn. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch, predicting him to switch out, and uh, as you can see, that Ice Punch did absolutely nothing. So, um, I am going to go for the Ice Punch again. Now, what I should have done was switched out. I was hoping for like a uh, freeze or something like that, but he's going to put me to sleep again, which is four. So, yeah, that kind of sucks though, uh, because now he's going to be able to go for the Strength Stack and get all of his losses to do that. So, um, I'm going to go for the High Roar Switch, and he's going to go for the Strength Stack once again. And, um, yeah, he's going to get pretty much most of his health back. Um, uh, Shinonic is actually causing a lot of fun to my team. Um, he's gonna go to his Probominable, and, um, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice because I really have no reason not to. And it looks like, um, yeah, I, I'll be able to finish him off with Fire Blast, but I guess he thought I was not, uh, I was Choice Star or something, so. At least I caught him off guard, uh, right there, so I'm just gonna go for the, uh, Hyper Voice again, I think. Uh, but he's, I, I'm actually gonna go for the Hidden Power Grass, because, um, you know, I ha that's like the only thing I can hit Lantern hard with, but I'm just gonna go for the Hidden Power. Uh, but it turns out it was actually Hidden Power Dragon, not Hidden Power Grass. Um, I, yeah, um, I meant to have Hidden Power Grass, and I, I don't think Hidden Power Grass would've done too much to, um, the Lantern. And again, this Lantern is a big problem, so he's gonna go for the Protect over here. And I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. Now, um, the thing is that Lantern is still at a pretty considerable amount of HP, so he's gonna go to his Soul Rock. And, um, I'm gonna go for the Roost over here just to get my health back. And, um, yeah, the thing is Earthquake wouldn't have done too much damage to him. So I'm gonna switch out. I don't want a U-turn. And I'm gonna go into my, um, Girder over here. He's gonna go for the Rock Sun. And, um, yeah, it's not looking too good for me because uh, he still has five Pokemon left and um, yeah that kind of sucks though but um, what can you do um well yeah I'm gonna go for I'm gonna try to wake up and go for the Ice Punch uh, but he's gonna go for the Moon Blast and I think he's gonna knock me out yeah he does knock me out so that kind of sucks because now I've just lost my brother and um, yeah it's looking pretty bad so yeah, I'm gonna go to my Toga tomorrow, and at this point I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. Uh, no, never mind. I go for the U-turn, thinking that maybe he would switch into his Lantern again. But I'm gonna go to my Archeops, uh, expecting him to wanna, you know, switch out or something like that. But he's gonna go for the Spore, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Like um, I'm probably not going to win this battle because of the fact that I have two Pokemon left, one being asleep and the other one being locked into one move because I'm Choice Star. So he's gonna go for the Moon Blast. And, uh, it's gonna do a considerable amount. And, um, I'm going to go for the Iron Head, finally, and, uh, knock him out. But, actually, no, I don't knock him out. Um, uh, but he's gonna go for the Moon Blast, and it's going to, uh, not knock me out. I do live with 22 HP. Uh, but I'm gonna be able to finally knock out this Genotic with the Iron Head. So, um, yeah, so now he's gonna go to his Silvali here. And, uh, over here, the only way for me to actually win is try to get, like, uh, flanked or something like that. But I'm gonna go to my Archeops as, uh, Dust Fodder, and he's gonna go for the Flamethrower. And, uh, yeah, I do live with 39 HP, but I am fast asleep, so he's gonna be able to knock me out. So, um, yeah, that kinda sucks. But, uh, yeah, my Archeops is gone, so now my last Pokemon is Pokemon tomorrow. Literally, my only way of winning this battle is if I flinch every single one of his Pokemon, so... Um, I go for the Iron Head, I do get the flinch though, and uh, I'm gonna go for the Iron Head again, and knock out the Savali. So now, um, yeah, so, um, he's gonna go to his Murkrow, and I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head over here. I'm hoping that I, uh, flinch him, but I don't flinch him, and he's gonna finish me off with the Dark Pulse. So it's gonna end up being a 3-0 victory in, him, in his favor. So yeah, that was a pretty good battle, and um, yeah, this team, the team that I used wasn't really good at all, so um, yeah, so basically this was our first battle um, that we're having today, uh, it was a PU battle, so now 
we're actually going to move on to our second Wi-Fi battle, which is also against Visual Eye. And I did say that all three battles that I'm having are against Visual Eye. So, um, this one's an OU tier battle this time. So, um, he has a pretty threatening team. He has a Landorus and a Heatran. I have a Landorus, and I do have, um, some Pokemon that could probably handle his team. Like, I do have Mega Wild that could probably sweep him late game. But, um, I'm gonna go into my Landorus, and he's gonna lead off with his Medicham. Now, um, the thing is, I think, um, yeah, this is actually, um, I think this is a Choice Scarf when this I think so. I have no clue, but I think, uh, I think this is like a, one of those lead sash. No, never mind. It's not the lead sash, I'm choice guard. So, I'm gonna go for the U-turn, and I'm gonna go into my Ferrothorn. Expect him to go for the fake out, but he ends up predicting that very nicely and goes for the high jump. Too. So, that was a good play on his part. So, uh, yeah, so now he's gonna finish off my Ferrothorn, and I'm gonna go to my Greninja, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go... Uh, for the, um, what was it, the Ice Beam, I think? No, I go for the Dark Pulse, but because he's a Salt Vest, he's not going to take too much damage from this, so I'm just going to switch out and get out of there. I'm going to go into my Wow and uh, expecting him to maybe want to go for a Knock Off or an Earthquake. Well, actually, um, Knock Off was more appropriate, but, um, yeah, so, um, I'm going to go for the, uh, Knock Off over here. I think I go for the Knock Off. Uh, I don't exactly remember what happened because this battle was from a long time ago, and I do go for the knockoff. So um, the fact that he, um, the fact that he, um, you know, um, you know, didn't get an item knocked off tells me he's definitely, definitely Z move. So I'm gonna go for the rocks though um, because I thought he would switch out, but he's gonna make a great play and go for the Z move, expecting me to not go for earthquake and. Um, yeah, so, um, he pretty much took, already took down, uh, two of my mons, so, um, so yeah, he's gonna be able to, I think, knock out my guard chomp over here. No, never mind, I do live with 130 HP, I do eat that, um, uh, uh, tectonic rage pretty well, so, um, I'm gonna go for, uh, my own Z move, which is the, um, Dragonium Z, so, um, yeah, so basically I'm just gonna go for the Devastating Drake, and, um, yeah, at this point, like, I mean, I don't think it'll knock out the Lando because the fact that he, uh, got the Intimidate off, but, uh, I'm gonna switch out because I'm pretty sure he's Scarfed, uh, but I'm gonna go to my own Landorus, which was probably a bad idea because now that I think about it, he was probably gonna go for Hidden Power Ice, um, uh, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm also Choice Scarf, but he ends up winning the Speed Tie, so that kind of sucks. Um, although, there are some variants of Choice Scarf Landers, but I think I'm running max speed on Landers. So, um, what I should have done was actually switch it to my Greninja, and, um, gone for the, like, the Dark Pulse or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but now my Landers is gone, so I'm gonna predict him to switch out, and I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. And I do get a critical hit, but I know he's likely gonna switch out. So, I'm gonna go into my, um, Garchomp over here, and, um, he's gonna switch out. I knew that he would switch out. I was gonna, um, I was gonna switch out to whatever, uh, Pokemon he switched into, but I figured the Heatran was gonna be a switch in. Um, but, um, yeah, the, um, Tangrel is gonna, um, come in. Now, what I could've done was gone for the Swords Dance, and, um, you know, maybe gone for the earthquake or something like that. But I'm gonna switch out because I know that he's likely going to go into his, um, Heatran again, predicting me to go for the Outrage. Or go to his Top of Coco. Um, or his Landorus as Death Bottle, one of the two. So he's gonna sack his Landorus. And, uh, I'm gonna go to my Zapdos. And, um, yeah, so now he's gonna go to his Top of Coco, which is, uh, I think it's Specs or something, I have no idea what kind of item he's holding. Uh, but he's gonna go for the Volt Switch. And judging by this damage, he's definitely Choice Specs because, um, yeah, Electric Terrain Boosted sh shouldn't do that much damage. So I'm gonna go for Boost. And, um, uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna predict him to switch into his V-Train because V-Train is so obvious. Uh, because he does have a V-Train, uh, to come in. And, um, uh, He's gonna go to his um, heat chain over here, and I go for the hidden power ice. Um, 
thinking that maybe uh, he would want to go, you know, maybe he would stay in. Although, actually, I, I don't have the heat wave, that's unfortunate. So, um, but he's gonna go for the magma storm, and I'm gonna go for the bolt switch. So, um, unfortunately, I don't quite take out the uh, heat train. So, that kind of sucks. But, uh, I'm just gonna go for the, um, now what I should have done was gone for the, um, ice beam over here. Oh wait, I do go for the ice beam, predicting him to switch out. So, um, ice beam's gonna do a considerable amount, but he's gonna be able to sack his new tram. Or, um, he's gonna be able to go to his Jirachi, actually, so. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the ice beam. And, um, it's not going to do too much, but based on this damage, and based on the fact that he has leftovers, he's likely, um, uh, sort of a bulky Jirachi. So I'm gonna go into my, uh, Garchomp as Death Potter, but he ends up going for the U-turn. So, um, I'm gonna be able to, I think, live one more stealth block damage, so. Um, so yeah, he's gonna go back into his Tangro, and I think he's going to, uh, go for the, um, I think he's gonna, like, switch out over here. And, uh, he's gonna sack his Heatran, so, yeah, so Heatran's gone, but, um, I go for the Outrage, but, uh, the thing is, he still has that Tapu Koko. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, though, because now I have to sack something else. Uh, I do have a Zapdos to sack, so, um, I'm gonna go into my Zapdos as Death Fodder, and he's gonna go for the, uh, I think he's gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, he's gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam, and, um... Yeah, so basically I'm gonna go into my um, Mawile over here because I know that he's locked into um, Dazzling Gleam. Now, I'm gonna go for the Sword Stance over here and I'm gonna go for the uh, Sucker Punch right after because um, if I can knock out this Tapu Koko, uh, the Tapu Koko and the Metacham, I can pretty much sweep his entire team late game. So I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch. I knock out the Metacham. And things are looking pretty good for me, so he's gonna go to his Tapu Koko, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch, I'm really hoping that Sucker Punch knocks out the Tapu Koko, but he just barely survives with, I think, like, 2 HP or so, he's gonna finish me off with a Thunderbolt. Now, over here, I make a really bad play over here, I go into my Greninja instead of my Garchomp, because the thing is, that I actually could have easily won this battle, because I could have went for the Sword Stance, and I would have been able to, uh, I probably, uh, he probably would have been able to pivot around, um, with, uh, Jirachi and stuff, so I, I'm, what I would do is probably go for the, um, you know, the, um, Earthquake or something like that, uh, predicting the Jirachi, like, I would have to make some mind games and stuff, so, um, yeah, so he's gonna knock out my Greninja, unfortunately, and, um, I'm gonna go into my Garchomp, and it's gonna end up being a real victory in my opponent's favor. I go for the outrage, it doesn't quite knock out the Tangro. But, um, yeah. Um, at this point, um, yeah, he was able to knock out my Garchomp with the Baby Drain, I think. So yeah, that was a pretty good battle though, but, um, so yeah, um, yeah, basically, uh, I made some misplays and stuff like that, so. Um, so we do have one more Wi-Fi battle, and, um, yeah, so this one's actually going to be, um, going to be a, um, a ZU battle, actually, against Nijuai, again, um, yeah, so basically, uh, this team I kind of, like, made myself, uh, I'm actually using, uh, one of, um, uh, weakness policy combustion with uh, Wheel Tornado's uh, set. So, yeah, that's basically a set that Wheel Tornado used. So, uh, in one of his EU battles a while ago. So, he's gonna go to his Torterra, and I'm gonna go into my Monferno. And uh, I'm Choice Scarf, so I can outspeed him, obviously. Uh, even if I'm not Scarf. Uh, but I'm gonna go for the U turn because I know that he could probably take a Flare Blitz and just knock me out in the turn with the Earthquake. So I'm gonna go into my Golem over here, expecting him to maybe want to go for the Rock, but he's gonna go for the Earthquake. So, uh, yeah, so it's actually gonna do well over half. So the only bad part is, is that I'm not gonna be able to go for the Stealth Rock. So that kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, 
Um, he's gonna finish me off with the earthquake. So, that's fine. I mean, uh, I just gotta make sure that he doesn't get help with his rocks, so... Um, so yeah. Um, but I'm not sure if he's like Rocky Helmet or anything like that. So, uh, oh wait, he's leftovers, never mind. Uh, but I'm gonna go into my, um, um, what was it, my, um, shift three. And he's actually gonna go to his live card. Now the thing is, he sort of made a risky play though, because if I had gone for the straight for the Z, his live card would have been dead. And the thing is, if I had, uh, killed his live card, uh, my combustion actually would have done, uh, some more work though. Uh, but you'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna go to my Soul Valley Water. Uh, and he's gonna go for the U turn. I was actually afraid of the U turn, to be honest, so. Uh, but he's gonna go to his Grum Pig over here. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave, and thankfully I hit. So, um, back to two wave, you know, to miss. Uh, it's kind of annoying though, especially when you need it. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna go for Substitute. So that automatically tells me he's subcall mine with leftovers. So um, subcall mine is kind of annoying to deal with, um, but the thing is, the best way to deal with it is getting rid of its leftovers. Um, so yeah, he's gonna go get the paralyzed. So that's really good for me. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be able to go uh, for the parting shot over here, and uh, I'm gonna be able to get the uh, switch initiative over here. Um, I think I'm going to go into my Shifty again. Um, no, wait, I'm going to go into my um, Seeking, actually. And he's going to go for a Substitute. And, um, again, he probably has the uh, Subcall Mind, I'm guessing. Because uh, I also see um, Grumpegs with, like, uh, uh, Berry or something like that, or I have Berry, one of the two. Uh, but I do go for the knockoff, he gets fully paralyzed, which is really good for me because now I can go for the knockoff and get rid of his item. So, um, he's gonna withdraw over here and he's gonna go into his Marini. And, um, I am gonna go for the knockoff. And I am gonna get rid of the Violite at least, so I don't wanna have to deal with that Violite to be honest. So I'm gonna go switch out, I'm gonna go into my, um, uh, Shifty over here, which is, um, you know, I should be able to sort of threaten it out, though. But, uh, I'm gonna go for the, uh, Sword Stance over here. And, um, I'm gonna try to hopefully, uh, try to, um, get some damage off. But he's gonna go for the Stall, and I'm hoping that he doesn't burn me. Um, luckily he doesn't. So, I'm just gonna go for the Leap play just in case he decides to, you know, switch out or something like that. But I'm able to knock out the Marini. Now, the only bad thing is that the Toxic Spikes are up, so... He's gonna go to his Sylvali, which looks like ground, but I think it's fighting. Because, um, the way he brought it in. So I'm gonna go into my own Sylvali, which is obviously Sylvali Water. Um, so yeah. The thing is, now, he's gonna go for the U-turn. And, um, I do need to defog the entire guy there, because my Combustion needs to not be poisoned. So, um, which is, you know, the bad part. Uh, because if my combustion is poison, then I'm not going to be able to shoot him. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, hoping that he, uh, you know, gets paralyzed. And I do need to slow down his mind, so... He's going to get fully paralyzed, which is really good for me. Because now I'm going to go for the, uh, Defog freely. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't want any Toxic Spikes on my side of the field. Uh, Marini's gone at least, so now Toxic Spikes will, uh, no longer, uh, I no longer have to worry about it, but the thing is, he's gonna bring me down to a point where Toxic will knock me out. So, my Silvalli is gone, but I'm gonna go into my, uh, Shift 3 over here, and at this point, I'm just gonna go for the Z move. Now, what I should've done was gone for the Sword Z And then, um, you know, maybe gone for the knockoff or something like that, but I just wanted to go for the Z move just for the off chance that he goes into a Lipard again, because I wanted to nail that Lipard. But he's going to stay in and take the Bloom Doom. And it's going to do a significant amount. So he's going to get fully paralyzed, which is really good once again. So now I'm just going to finish him off with the Leaf Blade. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to knock out the Mithridus. So that's pretty good. So now I'm just going to go to his Light Heart over here. And um, I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch just so I can get some damage off. And uh, yeah, the... Um, 
Yeah, like, uh, the Sucker Punch isn't gonna do some damage. It's gonna do too much, but, um, he's gonna knock me out with the U-turn, obviously, because I'm four times weak to it. Um, but he's gonna go to his Torterra. And, um, you know, it's looking pretty bad for me, because now, um, you know, I think he could set up his, uh, stealth blocks over here, but I'm gonna go to my, um, uh, sneaking, and I'm actually gonna go for the Ice Beam over here. And I'm thinking that it'll knock out the Torterra, but it doesn't. So that kind of sucks. So he's gonna go for the wood hammer, and um, yeah, he's gonna knock me out. Um, he's gonna knock out my sinker. I really thought Ice Beam would knock him out, but I, the thing is, I'm not running too much special attack investment, so of course Torterra's gonna survive that despite being four times weak to it. So I'm gonna go into my combustion, and I'm gonna go for the Endor over here. Um, hopefully that he goes through the um, you know earthquake or something like that. So, I'm gonna go for the uh, Endure over here, and he's gonna bring me down to 1 HP, and he's going to activate my weakness policy over here, so, uh, it's pretty good, so now I'm at plus 2 special attack, plus 2 attack, so that means I'll be able to hopefully sweep him if his, uh, Y part doesn't care to stop the punch, which usually they do, so, um, I'm gonna go for the reversal over here, and, uh, knock out this Torterra, so, um, yes, yeah, so now I'm at plus 2 speed, now, if his live part does not carry Sucker Punch, I pretty much win the battle. So, um, he's gonna go to his live part, and he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch over here, so that's kind of unfortunate. Now, what I could've done was gone for the Endure again, expecting him to Sucker Punch out. He's gonna have to do some fine games and stuff. So, the thing is, now, all my all I have left is my, um, uh, Monferno. So, I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz and knock him out. So, that's pretty good. So now, um, yeah, so... Um, now he's gonna go to his Grumbling. Now, the only way for me to actually win this battle is if he gets paralyzed twice. So, I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz, and hopefully he gets, uh, paralyzed, and it doesn't look like a 2 hit KO, but he does not get paralyzed. He's gonna be able to finish me off with the side shot, and it's going to be a 2-0 victory in my opponent's favor. So, that was a pretty good battle, though. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment below. Content on to crush that like button and subscribe to my channel and also check out Visualize channel. He also uploads videos and Pokemon battles as well. And um yeah. Um I will see you guys later.